Hello then, many thanks for tuning in to I254 News Highlights. It's a Monday, first day of the month of April 2019. Tonight, discussion Monday, we'll be looking at landlord and uh, tenants relations. Keep it Y254. I'll be speaking to John Wanga and Joachim Omboi. They will help us to understand what should we know before renting a place and in case of anything, what should you do in terms of legal formalities at Y254 channel at Murani Hillary is the Twitter handle to use. You can tell us or ask questions that you feel like you need to know what happens. For now, we look at the stories making news highlights tonight. A very good Monday evening to you. Deriva Hillary is my name, and these are the stories making news highlights. Stakeholders in health research have today held a career open day in a bid to create awareness about opportunities in this sector. Addressing 200 applicants for an eight-month internship program in Nairobi, various specialists tackled pertinent matters such as perception about health research and careers in this subject. Abdul Razak starts off our broadcast with that story. Open day, a measure to build capacity in health research organized by Camry Wellcome Trust in partnership with African Academy of Sciences aims to attract university graduates from multiple disciplines towards health research. According to the African Academy of Sciences program deputy director Dr. Alphonsus Neber, such initiatives in the continent are aimed at promoting African-led researchers to solve Africa's health problems. The African Academy of Sciences is the only Pan-African Academy of Sciences that deals with uh, promoting science and development on the continent. Uh, we have as our vision transformed lives. So what we do is we work towards transforming lives on the continent using science, mobilizing resources and uh, partnerships and collaborations and, and, and other resources that we are able to work with, with other stakeholders across the continent and in the, uh, uh, globally. We also provide think tank and advisory services or, or functions in order to shape policies in health and science on the continent. Then thirdly, we are an honorific organization, so we recognize excellence in science through a number of uh, excellence schemes that we implement. IDEAL, the program which is having the open day, is one of the 11 programs and they cover uh, a, a, a wide spectrum of health research fields uh, including uh, bioinformatics and genomics, including One Health, that is those diseases that uh, affect humans and they can cross onto animals and vice versa. Mm -hmm. We deal with um, immunology and infection, we deal with malaria elimination, and a whole lot of other areas. Uh, we have other programs again, like the H3 Africa. H3 Africa is uh, human hereditary and health in Africa, which is looking at the underlying determinants of health genomics, so to speak, yep. and the environment, how all these they affect our health and our resilience as human beings, so to speak. We have other programs which are solely based on promoting postdoctoral education on the continent. So we have about uh, the African Postdoctoral Training Initiative, we have what we call ISA RISE, we have what we call FLAIR, and these are all programs that are providing research opportunities for young and promising early career Africans to pursue research at the highest level on the continent and even in other news, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Martin has ordered the betting control and licensing board to oversee the betting firms are in compliance in tax paying to avoid obstruction. Betting firms have until July 1st to pay all their taxes or risk having their licenses cancelled. Machangi decried the betting craze in the country, especially among youth. The Kenya Young Parliamentarian Association is inviting the youth and ICT hubs across the country for a competition to develop a mobile application for public participation. This comes amid concerns that a majority of the youth in the country do not take part in public participation forums on legislations due to the nature of these meetings which mostly require physical attendance. Elsewhere, Davis Chele Edewa, a former procurement officer at the Export Processing Zone EPZ in Earth River, Machakos County, has been sentenced to six years in jail for 
in jail or pay 1.5 million shillings fines after he was found guilty of soliciting for a bribe. The accused was charged that in August 2016 he demanded for a 1.6 million bribe to influence the award of a tender to a contractor, Hezbon Ngugi Kamande, who reported the matter to the EACC. And finally, overseas, following attacks that occurred last Monday in Durban's Springsfield area on foreign nationals living in South Africa, African ambassadors in South Africa are set to meet with the minister in the Department of International Relations and Cooperation to express concerns of attacks. Among the concerns of the African ambassador include measures in place by the South African government in protecting lives of African foreigners in the country, including their properties and crime-related issues. Now you are up to date with Y254 News Highlights. It's about time we move to our discussion tonight where we are talking about the relation between landlords and ta tenants. And I'll be speaking to John Wanga and Joachim Ombui. They will help us to understand what are these things that we need to, uh, to know before we move to uh, any apartment or a residential place. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. It's good to have you here. Thank you. you know, today was uh, a false day. Yes. Uh, John, were you full today? I wasn't full in any way or, because I'm fully aware of this day. I was oh, prepared. All right. Yes. I, uh, how about you, Joachim? Exactly. You are not full. Was not full, and I was very busy. You know. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. You know, I was like, if anyone is admitted that Kenyatta and they need blood, and you are told so and so is in Kenyatta and they need blood, people will be like, no, that's a lie. Uh, it's false day and this person maybe yeah. ends up <laughs> yeah. in the wrong state. Sure. Anyway, uh, let's talk about rights of the tenant as well as the rights of, um, of the landlord. And I want to look at one thing that happens when you rent to a place to stay or to live rather. Yes. Uh, you will have to pay a deposit, John. Yes. And that deposit, you are told when you, your time comes to leave this place, right. we will refund you. Yes. But again, we will have to cut a certain amount to cater for A, B, C, D. Yes. And many of the times you are not told which are these things. So at the event you want to vacate that particular house, you are told we used a certain amount for painting, uh, you damaged A, B, C, D. And these things at times they do not account. Now, what are my rights as a tenant? What should I do? Now, your rights as a tenant ideally before you enter or before you take any possession of a premise, mm -hmm. you have to get a checklist. Mm -hmm. This one enables you to know the things that are in order in the house and the things are not in order in the house. Mm -hmm. Second, you have to have a tenant's agreement. Mm -hmm. Now, this one protects your interests mm -hmm. while in the premises. Before you move out, the landlord has to make sure that everything and anything that you found in that premise is in the best order mm -hmm. before you render vacant possession of it. Right. Yes, it's by having the tenant's agreement that protects your mm -hmm. interests. Right. So that at the time you, you exit the premise, mm -hmm. the deposit has to be refunded back to you mm -hmm. upon meeting the conditions set in the right. tenancy agreement. All right. Uh, Joachim, I have rented this particular house for, say, four years. Yes. And at the time I want to leave, I am told you have to, we have to cut a certain amount to cater for painting. Now, the question that bothers many is, how much money or what quantifies the amount that you want to cut? And then uh, what rate will you use to paint? Will you use the current market rate of the paints or will you use the one that when I entered that house, you had painted for say for 5,000 and yeah. now you want to paint for 10,000, which will amount maybe to my deposit. Okay, on that one, that is exit. In, in uh, principles in tenants, we have three areas. Mm -hmm. That is uh, entry, number one. Number two is stay, number three, exit. Mm -hmm. When we capture number one, that is stay. Mm -hmm. This is where my friend has said there must be a checklist. Right. The checklist with the lease goes together. Mm -hmm. The checklist is the history of the house. Right. The lease is this is the tabulation of the conditions and procedures of the, the stay that we're going to, uh, to proceed in that premises. Mm -hmm. So it at times comes to the exit where maybe you want to leave the house and then uh, issue of maybe how is the house conditioned and all this, the deposit now comes. Mm -hmm. Number one reflection that we need to know is uh, 
the notice, the lease that you signed, mm -hmm. there must be an article that states mm -hmm. the way you leave the house, how are you going to leave it. Right. In the checklist, we have areas that mm -hmm. you must, as a tenant, you must leave the house as you got it. Mm -hmm. That means you must take the responsibility as a tenant mm -hmm. to make sure this house, the way I got it, or the fixing and the painting and everything is the way you got it. Right. There is no, if, if that one is not reflected in the tenancy lease, mm -hmm. then the landlord will take advantage right. to maybe delay the deposit and bring some excuses that now this amount is going for the painting, the fixing for the toilets and the kitchen, all those. True. Our tenants in the country, because right now we have 17 million tenants in Kenya mm -hmm. and the landlords are 5 million. We are just sending a very special message to the tenants in the country. Before you enter to any premise, maybe residential mm -hmm. or commercial, mm -hmm. please consult Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Let us go through uh, the checklist or you can advise le lease, lease, lease procedures so mm -hmm. that at least you cannot be in a fix mm -hmm. in any day in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, John, we have seen people being evicted because they have not paid rent, say, for three months. Yes. or even less actually for one month you'll find some agents are throwing you out now yes. the deposit that i paid what does it cater for what does it say apart from every other thing uh it's a bi binding contract between me, myself and the landlord yes point number one it's very illegal for a ten for a landlord or an agent mm -hmm. to uh, evict a tenant or to lock out the tenant in the aforesaid premises. Mm -hmm. Actually, what happens, mm -hmm. there are procedures of recovering and paid rent. Mm -hmm. The landlord is supposed to go to the tribunal, obtain mm -hmm. orders, mm -hmm. come and levy distress to the tenant, mm -hmm. or the landlord is supposed to directly issue instructions to the auctioneer so that this auctioneer comes and collect rent mm -hmm. on behalf of the aforesaid landlord. But it's totally wrong for an agent or a landlord mm -hmm. to, to lock someone's premise. Right. Yes. How, I have... However, how much you you stay in the premise without paying? Mm -hmm. In fact, if you by any chance find yourself in a fix, mm -hmm. if you are a tenant, right. For example, you are our, a member of our association. Mm -hmm. We shall move. We shall move to court on your behalf. We seek for more time from the court mm -hmm. to restrain the landlord from mm -hmm. any harassment mm -hmm. upon you looking for the said rent. Right. So the government will not throw, will not allow the landlord mm -hmm. to throw you out of the premise. All right. I have seen people being thrown out. I've seen other places, uh, the roofs being taken off. Uh, I've seen the doors being closed. You are out. You can't change. You can't do nothing. Yes. But then uh, the question is, the deposit that I paid, and or this agreement rather, for how long can it sustain me? What does the law say? Now, the law, when it comes to the issue of deposit, mm -hmm. deposit in most residential premise it's normally for one month right and then for business premises it's normally for two months mm -hmm. now you see if you've delayed in paying rent for two months right. your deposit will not cover up for the two months right that's why you have the right as a tenant mm -hmm. to move to a place where you'll be protected mm -hmm. from such harassment if you are in a financial strain right that's true now joachim is it right for a landlord to switch off your electricity from the meter just because you have not paid a rent? It's very wrong and illegal. Mm -hmm. First, power is not for the landlord. Right. Power is for Kenya Power. Right. That's business between the one who is consuming mm -hmm. and the owner of the product. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. It's not applicable in any law. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what usually reflect is uh, the notice. Right. If there is an issue with maybe between the landlord and tenant, mm -hmm. the landlord has to offer or issue a notice right. that there is a defection or this misunderstanding between us in terms of delay of rent mm -hmm. or some issues around. Mm -hmm. Then the landlord has a right mm -hmm. to offer a notice to the tenant that I uh, see this direction we are not going would I seek audience so that we can talk and sort it out. Mm -hmm. That is the procedure. But locking out water, electricity, mm -hmm. locking the, uh, all the, everything that is maybe consumable or m beneficial to the tenant, mm -hmm. it's wrong. All right. Yeah, it's very wrong. Uh, uh, something I just want to get clear. Yes. If I have not paid rent for say one month or two months, I, I was out. By the time I was coming home, my house is locked. I can't get in, I can't get anything from my house. Is it right for them to do that because they do it? It's wrong. And now, what should I do in such an event? Uh, once you are in such a situation, mm -hmm. 
maybe you, you are maybe outside, maybe somewhere, coming back, your house is locked. Yes. Uh, okay, you have to come to our offices. Mm -hmm. We give legal proceedings mm -hmm. or advice mm -hmm. on the way forward. Right. First, we have to seek advice from the court to mm -hmm. give us orders to make sure that house is open, number right. one. Mm -hmm. Once the house is open, that is the time we'll have mm -hmm. arbitration between the landlord and mm -hmm. the tenant to right. understand why. If there is a delay, people delay rent mm -hmm. and a person will not stay outside. True. It's right to have a shelter. Right. So the landlord locking out the house means doesn't understand the law. True. So from there we arbitrate and then we understand the cause. Mm -hmm. Next thing is to have a commitment notice. This, this should be from maybe either parties mm -hmm. between us, uh, landlords and tenants of Kenya, the landlord and the tenant. Mm -hmm. For the tenant to, uh, to uh, commit that I'll be spreading my rent mm -hmm. to pay and clear these areas on a, a period of time. Right. And that is given, that's uh, li legal and uh, very okay, okay in terms of tenancy procedures. Mm -hmm. once, once the, the agreement has been done and notice has been signed, mm -hmm. then the landlord has to follow wait or give more time right. for the tenant to clear the rent. Right. From there, things will be just working out. All right, we'll be taking a very short break, uh, but before then, uh, I just want to get this one thing, then we go for break. Most of the agreements or the contract, they, uh, they say 21 days after you vacate, you'll be given your deposit, and if you're vacating, you give a notice maybe for one month or say three weeks. But I have vacated in good time, but my deposit has not been remitted also in good time. What should I do, John? Now, in such a case, mm -hmm. deposit is supposed to be refunded between the time frame of the notice. Mm -hmm. For residential premises, the notice is normally 30 days. Mm -hmm. Then for business or commercial premises, mm -hmm. the notice is normally for 60 days. Okay. Now, if in such a case that you've left the premise in the best condition that you found it, right. the landlord is supposed to give you deposit immediately upon rendering vacant possession on that particular day. Mm -hmm. There is no any law that provides that deposit is supposed to be given, say, within 7, 14 or 21 days. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to be given back your deposit immediately you render vacant possession of mm -hmm. the premise. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. We'll take a very short breather and when we come back we will be looking at the rights of the landlord as well and a few things about the tenant. Keep it Y254. Discussion Monday takes a break. Don't go too far. Why two five four? Imagine. Why two five four? Imagine. Many thanks for keeping us company and if you just tuned in, this is Discussion Monday. Tonight we are talking about landlord and tenant relationship. I am joined by John Wanga and uh, Joachim Omboi, both from Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya. We are looking at issues that affect both the landlord and the tenants. And before we took that break, we had looked at the deposit into depth about it. And now we want to look about the responsibilities of a tenant and that of the uh, 
the landlord as well because there has to be harmony between them because when we go to uh, fighting, like we have an issue with my landlord, I come to your organization. Yes. How do you bring harmony between us? Because I'm complaining my landlord has not given me my deposit or the conditions of the building, they are not okay and I'm afraid for my life. If I come to your offices with such an issue, how do you bring harmony be between the two? Now, we have a platform as Landlords and Tenant Association of Kenya to mediate between the aggrieved parties. Mm -hmm. If you are a tenant and you have an issue with your landlord, mm -hmm. you come to our offices, then we call the landlord mm -hmm. or we do him a demand letter mm -hmm. summoning to the office. Mm -hmm. If the landlord or the tenant fails to to go by our directions, mm -hmm. then we move to the court of any jurisdiction mm -hmm. to combat the landlord mm -hmm. to, do, to do that what mm -hmm. the aggrieved party is complaining about. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, Joachim, you will find in a scenario you have been into this particular apartment and the landlord has continually kept on increasing the rent from 500, another 1,000, next month you hit 3,000 and what is changing? The conditions you came in at that particular time, they haven't changed but the rent is increasing. How do you deal with such a situation? Okay, number one reflection on that, rent or increment, mm -hmm. we have to go back to the lease agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, once uh, we reflect on the lease agreement. Mm -hmm. It interpolates the increment of rent mm -hmm. systems mm -hmm. in place. Right. Uh, number two, there must be a, ref a reflection of how much mm -hmm. in terms of percentage mm -hmm. and the duration of time. Right. Uh, if you analyze properly, our landlords sometimes they mess around. You find today an increment of 10%, 20%, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you go deep to the regulations mm -hmm. of tenancy law, Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be 10% of right. the total amount you pay. Mm -hmm. And this should be done mm -hmm. once the, the, there is stipulation in that list that mm -hmm. every after maybe two years, mm -hmm. I will be doing an increment of 10%. Mm -hmm. On that area now, mm -hmm. the landlord has to seek authority from the tribunal. Okay. That now I have a reason to increase rent mm -hmm. on this. Then the tribunal will try to know why mm -hmm. because you cannot increase rent right if they are, they are the renovation is renovations are not done right there is nothing that has changed in that house so that one uh, they usually do it in a legal way right yeah okay john let's talk about now the landlord and we are speaking of the tenants they have refused to pay and i see from one of the things that you handle you people is about the rent defaulters yes. how do you handle this situation now there's only two way mm -hmm. of handling a rent defaulter mm -hmm. one is by way of auction mm -hmm. you issue the tenant with 21 days through a competent and licensed auctioneer mm -hmm. upon the expiry of the 21 days the auctioneer will come and take the movable items from mm -hmm. this tenant mm -hmm. to recover the rent mm -hmm. then if the things are levied the auctioneer has to keep them in custody until 14 days expire right. then from there the auctioneer has to advertise them mm -hmm. in any newspaper right that's when the auctioneer will move uh, will, will, will go ahead and sell them to recover the rent mm -hmm. second if the landlord feels that he has to move through the court mm -hmm. to get more channels mm -hmm. of getting the aforesaid defaulted rent mm -hmm. the landlord will go to the tribunal or any court mm -hmm. or any civil court and he will be issued with orders. It's through these orders that now the landlord will give them to the auctioneer. Mm -hmm. The auctioneer will come and then do the proclamation mm -hmm. of the items that mm -hmm. belongs to mm -hmm. to this tenant right. was defaulted. Mm -hmm. That is when now the auctioneer have to do their responsibility mm -hmm. and recover the, the rent. Yeah. Yes. All right. Be before I ask uh, a different question, you just uh, spoke of auctioneering your product. Uh, property. Yes. Now, will my property be auctioned according to the market rate or they will just sell it to their satisfaction and the amount they are looking for? They can never sell it at the market rate okay. because once you pick any item from the shop, it mm -hmm. depreciates, in, it, its value depreciates immediately you step out with it. Mm -hmm. Now, with auctioneer, the only thing that they never, they, they never work on a humanitarian ground. Mm -hmm. They dispose things to get 
their costs. All right. They will not even recover the landlord's money. Mm -hmm. But first of all, they have to cater for their costs. Right. So upon upon issuing notice, mm -hmm. they just make sure that they dispose mm -hmm. to clear their storage bank, their storage, <laughs> and then to to get their their fees. Right. That is all. They will never do it at the market value. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, uh, Joachim, Let's talk about poor services, and we are talking about the sanitation. Yeah. Let's speak of the garbage collection and and disposal, actually, and then we talk about the provision of water because it is very important wherever you stay. I have moved to this particular apartment, and what is a problem? Disposal of garbage is a problem. If I come to your offices, what do you do? Okay, number one, uh, when a tenant comes to our office, and maybe the complaint is about uh, poor services. Mm -hmm. We must, number one thing we must do is to analyze the list mm -hmm. to see is this article captured? Mm -hmm. Then number two, we analyze the responsibilities and the rights between tenants and landlords. Mm -hmm. The number one responsibility of a landlord is to give good services. Mm -hmm. That is security, garbage collection, water, clean water, mm -hmm. and some other information pertaining mm -hmm. the neighborhood. That is the responsibility of our landlord. Mm -hmm. If those services are not offered, on, on our capacity, we, we usually give demand letters mm -hmm. uh, pertaining, okay, a notice, mm -hmm. trying to let the, uh, the landlord understand mm -hmm. that he has failed or she has failed mm -hmm. to offer services to the tenant. Mm -hmm. and then immediately we request uh, first steps to be taken so that this tenant, because if you pay rent, you have to provide for your money. Mm -hmm. You must get the best services, maybe security, water, garbage collection, and a good environment. Mm -hmm. And this must be in the list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how we handle that. All right, as we near to wind up, let's talk about property de destruction. And I, I want to understand this is the part of the landlord, John. Yes. My house has been destroyed by this tenant. Yes. And they're claiming I found it that way. Yes. And we didn't have pictures as a proof or evidence that this house was in good condition. The yeah. only thing that stands as evidence is only the papers. Yes. But I can see with my eyes my house has been damaged. Yes. What do I do? Now, the, there are so many ways that the property can be destroyed. Mm -hmm. One is through maybe the landlord's immoral actions in covering rent mm -hmm. he may come and withdraw one of the iron sheets withdraw the door mm -hmm. or he sends tags mm -hmm. to do that whatever that will annoy you to to, to leave the premise okay. number two there are some tenants who do that intentionally mm -hmm. to put in the landlord into some losses okay. now the only way if a tenant succumbs to such mm -hmm. he should not enter the premises or do anything, mm -hmm. he should, the first action, he should go to the police mm -hmm. and report the same. Okay. Then from there, he comes to our office, we shall now represent that tenant mm -hmm. to the court mm -hmm. and he shall be, compen he or she shall be compensated in full. Okay. Yes, and if it's the landlord and she finds out that the tenant is the one who was responsible for such destruction, mm -hmm. then the landlord has also got the right channel to go through the court mm -hmm. or through us to sue the tenant mm -hmm. for, for the repairs. All right. Yeah. OK, speaking of the same, I come home, I found my door has been broken into. And on inquiry, I'm told the landlord through the caretaker, yes. they broke into my house and yes. they removed my properties. The house is empty. Yes. But now I'll have to clear the damages. Yes. The damages that were done on the door or, or the window or anything in that particular house, are they mine to settle or they belong to the landlord? First of all, they belong to the landlord. Mm -hmm. You as a tenant, you just found everything has transpired. Mm -hmm. You did not participate in any way. Mm -hmm. You are in, in a situation whereby you only there for yourself. And in any case, they impose it on me. How do I go through the case? There is no way they can impose it on you. First mm -hmm. of all, they have to prove their case beyond any reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. They must have witnesses. Mm -hmm. And if uh, the tenant was not there, the tenant will, 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 will also have to tell the court the truth that I wasn't there when this and this happened. Mm -hmm. Yes. So a tenant will not just stay there to, to cut the blame. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because he, the tenant has the rights, mm -hmm. the landlord also has the rights. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, I want to look at this eviction area. Uh, 
you want to get this tenant out of your building. Yes. Maybe it's not because they don't pay rent. They are okay when it comes to paying. But there are other factors that you feel I cannot continue living with this particular person. Maybe the neighbors are complaining. Now, which are some other things that you people you will consider when someone is being evicted and uh, it goes beyond his rights? Joachim. Okay, in terms of eviction, mm -hmm. there are some factors that one has to consider. Mm -hmm. Maybe the landlord will take just that step, maybe he wants to evict a tenant because of defaulting, paying rent mm -hmm. in many times. Or maybe as a special in character wise. Mm -hmm. That one, the landlord has a right. right. And uh, that right, must mm -hmm. the landlord has to seek advice from the court. Okay. That now this is the procedure that you have to apply to mm -hmm. evict a tenant mm -hmm. by just proving an, a very, very practical evidence right. that now this tenant is causing a lot of nuisance mm -hmm. to the compound, right. maybe a lot of noise, mm -hmm. maybe distracting other whatever properties mm -hmm. or maybe criminal records. Mm -hmm. Then the landlord has to seek more advice maybe from us as mm -hmm. landlords and tenants as shown of Kenya mm -hmm. or go to the court right. to get direction of how is going to affect this tenant right and there is a procedure in eviction there's a procedure mm -hmm. there's a notice and after observation you have to do a report and then do a notice right. to affect by being permitted by the, law, the the court of law all right in this particular scenario i understand it's uh the landlord against the tenant mm -hmm. and the tenant is his word against everyone else against him as a tenant what has been said is false about me how do I prove my case? Now, as a tenant, mm. you have your rights not to be evicted mm -hmm. upon the will of the landlord. Right. What happens in such a case? We move to the tribunal, the one that fights for the rights of the both parties. Right. You can seek more time from the court, and the court will give you that much time that you'll want. Mm -hmm. Be it 30, 90, 60 days, the court will always give you in case the landlord wants to evict you mm -hmm. just because other people have gone up against you. Right. Yes, because one, the landlord is restricted from massive eviction. Right. Yeah, the landlord cannot just come and say that I want vacant possession of the entire, the entire building. Mm -hmm. That is illegal by, by law. All right, as we wind up, we have seen scenarios of bu building being brought down here in Nairobi. And a tenant just came innocently, they were looking for space, they rented, they have been there for one year, and then the building comes down. Yes. Now, what am I supposed to do? Because I didn't know the building has been built uh, in a public land or mm -hmm. it is not fit for uh, living in. What should I do, Joachim? As a, a tenant, mm -hmm. you must have your rights. Number one right a tenant must, must, must exercise is uh, to have that power, mm -hmm. all that right to ask the landlord mm -hmm. to provide some certificates. In Inema, we have some documents mm -hmm. that the landlords mm -hmm. must have so yeah. that they can prove this house is built on a land that is recognized mm -hmm. and not something that is maybe on a riverian land. Mm -hmm. These documents, they are there. Right. from our count offices, mm -hmm. from NEMA and the, the engineers as National Building Authority. Right. These things are supposed to be done and the landlord must be in possession. Mm -hmm. Once the tenant who is good, who is ready, maybe serious for tenancy issues, right. has to ask the landlord all the documents, and then from there we proceed, all the tenant proceeds. Mm -hmm to uh, go through the checklist, list, and then maybe you can decide to stay in that particular premise. Mm. But imagine this way, a, a young person is just looking for a place to live. Uh, you move from one building to another looking for a place and then you find, wow, there's a room here. You go inquire, you hear the deposit is this much, the amount of rent is this much. You just get in and that's okay. These things, it's all about yeah. information. Mm -hmm. The public, is not given enough information to know procedures of tenancy. That's right. That's why we're here to give our public information that mm -hmm. procedure number one, what we are supposed to do, two, what everything, so that at least somebody is equipped. Right. Number one, whenever it happens, that's a circumstance, but be informed. Yeah, and that's why I am giving you one minute to tell us about you and what you do and where can we find you. Yes. Landlords and Tenants of Kenya, 
We are the consultants. We arbitrate between landlords and tenants to make sure there is good neighborhood, understanding of tenancy law, mm -hmm. and making sure the security. Mm -hmm. We are found along Moy Avenue, just directly opposite Meridian Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, Meridian Hotel, there's a house called Southern House. Mm -hmm. Third floor, you come to the office, you will get a very good service mm -hmm. in terms of notices, illegal fiction, delayed uh, deposit. Mm -hmm. And once you register with us as a member, mm -hmm. we'll give you wood services. Mm -hmm. And we are just doing these things nationally. Right. We have many strategies that we are rolling out to the public, mm -hmm. know your neighbor, mm -hmm. training, orientation of our tenants and even landlords mm -hmm. to understand these things mm -hmm. of tenancy law so mm -hmm. that we can suppress mm -hmm. the conflict between tenants and landlords in right. the country. Right. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Joachim, these services, I will have to pay for them. Yeah. Once Absolutely. you are a member, mm -hmm. you don't have to pay for them. Right. Because for you want to be a member, mm -hmm. this is a subscription fee. Right. Which is once? Once for a year. Okay. Or yeah. month, on monthly basis. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. And in case I am just a member, I have just registered with you and no event has happened to me. Is it like an insurance company where on the event of anything? No, no, no. You, <laughs> I know you are looking at an angle <laughs> whereby we fund your membership fee. Mm. Yeah, actually, right. it cannot happen that way. All right. Many yes. thanks for coming. They have been my guests, Joaquin Mumbui and uh, John Wanga from Landlords and Tenants Association of Kenya. Now, coming up next is why Mashariki keep it uh, tuned and know who will be their guest tonight. I'll see you on Friday. My name is Dereva Hillary. Have a good night.